So now we are going to put in our fringe insert and snow row. Now we're going to do up above is two, 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 two. So we're going to do one and then two, two, two. And we're going to follow this pattern that we did. If we were to fold this and, ha and have a, a tracing paper, it would just reflect what we have already previously woven to get the concentric boxes and the spiral weft. Savid pattern, all the snow rows. So fun. Ending on one and closing with our side quartz. And so if we look at our pattern, we'll tighten that up a little. See, the next step would be to take care of our savage pattern. We have one snow row below and one above. I'm going to crisscross that over towards the design field. And time for the right side. I'm just going to jump over, jump over two warps. Towards the center, back. take deep breaths as you're weaving and every once in a while you could adjust and stretch your back and your hands again really good care of your posture as you're weaving good thoughts on who you're weaving for where, where this is going to live when you're done is it for someone special are you going to keep it that was not a very good knot because I I was worried about the camera, so let's do that one over. Let's do that one over. Here we go. I can't let go. I gotta keep that tension. At the same time, as close as to the side cords as possible. I'm just gonna go back and put 
bring them up a little closer. This is a big action snow row that we're going to be doing. We have two snow rows under our three strand twining, so we need to have those move down. I'm going to save the, the one, two, third box for last. I'm going to Make sure that I'm on the same, and there is one, two, and bringing that in, looking in the back, we have one, two, three, one goes down past two and three, and up and over. Looking on the first one. There. And we have one, two, three. So the first one's done and the second. over here and save this one There's a lot going on in the back so just kind of looking make sure I'm grabbing the right one as you do so place it to the front you can always flip back and look to make sure You're working on the first box. Grabbing the one in the back. Making sure that the spiral is in her area. And bringing this up. And we have one, two, three. One's going to go past two and three. And return to the back. So we have that one done and that one done. Looking for my cute little pin to keep those up. There we go. These ones are a little bit shorter. So the concentric box in the middle holding the treasure is going to be woven close. nice and clean in the back <laughs> and we have the one two and three the top one one is going to go past two and three and it's going to go to the back and it's going to go around one warp and up now we have the weft two and three two is going to go down to the back and around two warps and now we have them all ready to weave the three strand twining going horizontal now so this one is going to jump over one two warps and go to the back and over two and up and this one's going to jump over three one two three jump to the back around two warps and up and now we're at the jumping over four warps going to the back and two behind two and back to the front 
This one's going to jump one, two, three, four behind two warps and to the front. One, two, three, one's jumping over four warps to the back, over two warps, and returning to the front. We are at one, two, three, so I'm going to take this one right here, just bring it back to one warp. Because we're at the ending where they're going to meet up. <laughs> so we have one, two, three from the point corner. So this one's going to jump over the one, two, three warps to the back and over one warp and up. Now this is going to jump over two warps to the back around one warp and up. This one's going to jump over one warp to the back and up. So now they are meeting. I have the horizontal and we're going to grab the vertical pair. And do the section of keeping them together. Looking at the back, making sure I'm grabbing the right one and it's not between anything, it looks like. There we go. That's the spiral. I'm going to make sure the spiral. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay. So now we have the horizontal meeting the vertical. So fun. And I'm going to take take one of, of the, the two, um, one that's going horizontal, this one right here, and one that's going vertical. And we're just going to switch those. And I like to start with Let's see what we're going to do. There we go. We're going to start braiding down. So you take the top one and you have it go down and braid as you're starting to braid it. Make a nice little soft point. And now that one's going down to braid. And you continue braiding it. You won't give enough tension that it keeps its corner, but you don't want to do it too tight where you'll grab a warp. Such a cute little braid, isn't it? And it's a good, that's a good measurement. You can go as far as your whole pinky or the half point, which I think is really pretty. It's such a dainty little braid. And the last one, I'm going to jump around and make a circle. And then it's going to jump into the circle. And I'm going to close off that braid. Now we have the horizontal. And what we want to do is put the vertical between the horizontal and this is going to lay flat and then give it a little scoop. So now we have the one, two, three. You're going to grab this one, bring it in as it's we, as you're braiding it. And you want to look at where that point is and you just want to guide your braid. So they have a really nice point and I'm supporting the braid in the horizontal. So, keeps that tension. And I'm going to take the farthest one to the right and jump over, make a circle. It's that cute little circle. You can hold it if you like. And this is going to jump in the circle. And we're creating just a soft little knot. 
and the tassels go down. Isn't that pretty? I'll put that up and away as we continue weaving. <laughs> 